Nottingham worked that puck at the point, a shot that's padded away by Hulsa. Sat on his pads just for a moment, and the defenseman was able to clear that the length. Kelsel in the court, oh, he gets his pocket picked by Billings out in front of the big, saved by Dubois of Talberg. The biggest effort of the night so far. Just over two minutes into this game. Let's have a look again. Blaze win this puck on the four checks, do, and this is a mammoth save from Dubois, it really is. This Panthers will bring this puck up ice with Hammond. Holds on on the forehand, looking for a maybe a shot, maybe a passing lane. Feeds Kelsall at the point, and his one time is blocked on the way through. That's out in front of another chance in on the back door, an empty net, they score! A wide open net, converted by Sorensen. And the Nottingham Panthers get off to a flying start. An early goal inside the first five minutes. Just what the doctor ordered, Stu. Just what the Nottingham Panthers would have wanted indeed. And that's a, a, a tidy finish from Sorensen, but it doesn't get much easier than that. We look again here on the replay. As that puck comes around, it's just passed straight across onto the stick of Sorensen. Holster can't track across, and it's a tap-in. Easy for the Panthers. Interesting to see uh, J.D. Dudek on that line now with the yellow horn, and Mitch Cook certainly has a, a creative streak to his game. It's a, a, relatively, uh, a relatively good draft pick. Colton Yellowhorn's got a, all the uh, creativity in the world. If that, that top-end speed maybe isn't quite there as it used to be a decade or so ago. There is Yellowhorn, he's going to step in. Oh, he's got all the time in the world! He hits the pipe. And that is Colton Yellowhorn's game to a tee. Just watches, he's reading the game, he sees that puck come free, and he's in space, ample time and space. He clangs it off the iron. Curran out there with Quince and Venus. Curran's gonna try and get into the zone himself here, he gets checked. Quince with a heavy backhand around the boards. Kept alive by Garrett Johnson, he shoots, oh, a tip in front, they score! Johnny Curran! I want to watch on the night, ties the game up with a beautiful low high tip to the low slot area. And this is great vision again from Johnston. He's found current stick a couple of times in the last couple of weeks for goals. And there's one there. And that's a big goal in this hockey game, Stu. It's one apiece. Yeah, one apiece. Great play from Johnston. And Curran there has just got himself into a good position. He's out in front of the net, but he's a little bit got a bit of separation from the defenseman, so he's not got his stick tied up. He's on the ice, ready to make the deflection and he gets the tip, sends it up high. It's really difficult for Dubo to track from that distance and speed, and ends up in the back of the net. One apiece. Dumped in. Johnson has a little bit of time and space to backhand this one out of the zone. Curran's gonna lead a two on one with Venus. Curran winds up for the fake, digs off the pad of Dubo. It's still there, he's tried to bank it in, Curran, and it is under the netminder who hangs on for the whistle. We have a little bit of pushing and shoving, but that will settle down relatively quickly. And that's a couple of times again Curran's tried that the last few weeks. A fake slap shot, doesn't get Dubo to bite. He tries to bank it in off the leg pad, and oh, you see those go in, Stu, don't you? Sometimes you see those go in. I, I'd like to see him take the shot there. Puck still there with Hammond. A little poke check comes in from Venus. Johnston is able to get that puck out of the zone at the uh, second time of asking. And Hammond brings that across the line. A little shimmy shake, drops that in the corner for Brady. Back to Mike Hammond at the point. Oh, nice play from the Panthers to work it to the top of the slot. Stopped by Olsen, but they score on the rebound. Big power play goal for the Panthers. Tucked home by Brett Walishka. And he really is racking up goals against the Blaze here, Stu. Absolutely finds himself in the right position there. Rebound comes out in front, again, right on the stick. Um, with Holzer having come down to make that first save, he can't recover to make the second there. Walichka with no travel, uh, challenge in front of the net, just puts it home. Brady trying to head up high, gets all kind of caught up high with the trailing arm of Tana Lashinsky, but play will continue as Venus comes across the line. He's got current in front, he couldn't get any connection on that chance. Might have just had JC Brassard stick lift Currens and that was a big opportunity for the Blaze there, Stu. Big opportunity for the Blaze. Panthers got caught watching there with the, the going on in and around. J.D. Dudek picks that puck up off uh, the netminder who fans it behind his own net. There's a chance at the top of the circle. And they score! Oh no, it's at the bar! Waved away. 
It looked like the point shot had got this game tied back up. And you don't come any closer to scoring than that, Stu. Dudek. Both teams on a change as J.D. Dudek's all wrapped up with the defenseman, and that's going to be a power play for the Blaze as Matthew Gagnon will be uh, making the walk for interference. The Blaze were relatively convinced that that was in, but the referee was right there on the line, had the best view in the house. Yeah, it, it, I, with, with those, I mean, you've got to consider a couple of things. Firstly, is it back bar and out? In which case, obviously a, a goal. If it's underside of the front bar and down, they are going to review it. Yeah. If it's underside of the bar and down, it's, it's where that puck bounces on the ice. Because yeah. if it bounces behind the line, it's a goal, but it can still physically spin out in front. I don't think it bounced down. I think it came, it bounced out. The question is, did it hit, come off the net and out, or the back bar and out, or the or the the bar and out? Yeah, they're certainly taking a long old look at this too. They're not uh, not seeing what they uh, you know need to make a definite decision straight away. Although it looks like we are good now. As Matt Rose will head back out, and uh, yeah, no goal. No goal. The Blaze will bring this across the line and they'll get set up in the offensive zone. 40 seconds left of this power play. Billings looking at his options. Sends it back to the point. Here's Garrett Johnston. Thinks about one time for Franti! Settles it and fires it past Dubow. And he just took a second, the Blaze sentiment, to lock and load and pull the trigger. And this game is tied back up at two, and it's a power play goal for the Blaze. Yeah, exchanging power play goals there. franti has got a lot of space there. The, the box has kind of collapsed down. You look at the shape of the Panthers there. You can see they're kind of in an L shape there. There's no one in that top right-hand corner is there on their defense or forward line. They've been pulled in part, and the Blaze make the most of the space. Franti takes his time, puts his shot in, and ends up tying it at two apiece. Thirty seconds to go. Coventry looking for one more trip up ice. That's quickly repelled by the Panthers at their own blue line. And there's Curran. Shovels it in. Oh, Venus is going to pick this up. Venus on the loose puck off the pad of Dubot. Venus trying to sneak it low glove side. Dubot had that one covered. Talberg will chip that one in. Chased by Billings. Gives a he's throwing a little shove into the boards. Who? And to to scramble back to his feet. Stretch pass off the stick of Luke Ferrara. He's going to chase Alex Forbes, his former colleague, into the corner and win that puck. Good play from Ferrara. Pass sent out in front, looking for a Panther, but that's grabbed very quickly by Jack Billings. Here's Talberg on the trailer. Talberg with a chance. Oh, that looked like it. Well, that looked like it might have gone in. And bore a hole through the top corner. They're going to review it. Talberg was certain. Yeah. And he's going to go and celebrate. That's how certain he is. Let's have a look again. Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I... So on first glance, I mean, let's slow it down a little. Well, that looks mighty close, doesn't it, it Stu? It, it looks mighty close. I mean, he was convinced. The referee, you can see, we look again on the, we, Talberg takes the shot. Well, it looks... well he, he, he's saying it's in. The referee's kind of pointing up. We have... It's uh, an outing for the uh, the new system we've got here. And it's a goal! Oh. And the Coventry plays take the lead. Kim Talberg's 15th of the season, surpassing his total last year in Tingerud's. And he knew straight away, Stu. It must be said he pointed straight at the net as if to say, I know that's gone in, that must have broken the net. Just over five minutes having gone here in the second period. Blaze now lead this game three to two. Kim Talberg is 15th of the year, has given the Blaze a leg up in this one as Franti's gonna come across the line with a chance, he lays it off. Oh, a big one-timer and a big save. Oh, the puck had come free. And out to Kukali at the point with Dubot flat on his tummy. That really was a monster save. Franti could have gone himself, decided to try and square it with pressure coming, and Dubois makes a diving save. The whistle goes, and Kukali would have had his eyes lighting up had play been live then. Nice little pinch from Clements to try and keep it alive, but I think the Panthers should be able to get this clear out of the zone. A little shovely backhand. Walichka tried to drop and go, but had that puck immediately taken off him by Garrett Johnston. The 
Former Kelly Cup winner with the Newfoundland Growlers in his rookie year. There's a chance out in front on a loose puck and Hulse has made a phenomenal save out of nowhere. Just a broken play on the backboards. The puck sprung out in front. And this is Pavel Hulse's biggest stop of the night, Stu. Watch this again. Yeah, we see that puck come out and he's right on the on the tape there of Jeremy Welsh. He's going in for that, that first puck, looking for second re rebounds as well. So the uh, f subject to the, the goal review, there's a couple of tweets come in. It, um, I don't think we ever said it would be a penalty. We said that they would lose, potentially you can lose your timeout, which is not a penalty. Um, but it's not a penalty for, for requesting a review. In that instance, anyway, the Blaze can't request a review. There's going to be a chance out in front and they score. Sorensen, Fred in front by Ferrara. And this game is tied up at three as the pass out in front from Luke Ferrara might have taken a little bobble on its way through. Hulse is trying to poke check it. And Sorensen, all alone on the doorstep, gets his second of the night and the Panthers' third too. Yeah, Ferrara comes down that wing, Sis sends it, and it bobbles across, and it's just a, a shovel, really, into the net. Picked up by Summers at the half wall. Big hit on the backboard from Lashinsky. Well, swinging a miss, oh, and this might feed the Blazers on a breakaway. Billings with a chance right at the death! And a big save from Dubois. That's a wonderful opportunity. But only a couple left on the clock. Billings on a breakaway. We'll take a look at it again. Just a broken play. We won't get to see it another time. Yeah, broken play there. And uh, Billings very nearly manages to slip it under uh, Alex Dubois. But Dubois keeps his pads down low, stretches out, covers the post to make sure there's no gap. And it was a nice save there. Blaze will to chase this one back into the Panthers defensive zone. There's a D2D pass with Gagnon and another. Here comes Anderson hard across the blue line. They couldn't get any all feed to him. And Coventry gonna get a breakaway. Billings in on Dubot. He scores! Jack Billings restores the Blaze lead. The Blaze is fourth of the night, is Billings is fourth of the regular season. And that's a ginormous goal for the Coventry Blaze too. Yeah, really good. Billings gets that breakaway, gets in behind the defensive pairing there, comes in on the breakaway on Dubot. This time gets the loft on it, goes high and manages to put it past him. Billings ahead of Colton Yellowhorn. Oh, Yellowhorn's found Billings again in front. He digs a good pad save by Alex Dubot. And he needed to make that one, Stu. In two shifts, Jack Billings has had two big opportunities. Converted one, agonizingly close for the Blaze for a second. Four minutes of regulation left. Blaze four, Panthers three. And sent up ice and no icing. Kelly Summers realizes Coventry are on a change. We'll send that one up ice to try and all oh, catch Coventry. They do, a shot stopped by Hulser. The stick was tied up on uh, Peyton Franti. That allowed a Panthers scoring chance, and Opava Hulsa, a couple of big saves he's had to make of late, and none bigger than this, really, frankly. Yeah, absolutely bailed out the Coventry Blaze here. The puck just lands right on the front stick of David Levin, and uh, he's, uh, you know, does very well to make that save. Myers. Couldn't keep it alive, the Blaze couldn't clear the zone. Quinn's trying to win it. It ends up all out in front of Hammond to save from Hulsa. Puck's still there. Yellowhorn's gonna just send that one softly out. Oh, and there's a loose puck out in front, and the Blaze score! On the four check, Mitch Cook got given a late Christmas present. The Coventry Blaze get five. And that really gives them a leg up here to snap this skid. What a great bit of pressure from Mitch Cook there, really earning that, that goal. Lots of four, heavy forecheck there, really drove that in, turns the puck over and slots it home. There's a chance maybe for Anderson, who was looking at the uh, low hash marks for an opportunity. The Panthers still have it, shot on the turn is... Block it away by Hulsa. Brassard. 
Puck ends up in the glove of somebody. Venus is going to chop it out. Talberg's got the empty net for a sixth. He settles it, he dispatches it, and the Coventry Blaze begin 2023 with a win. Kim Talberg, the second of two empty netters. And that's all she wrote in this one, Stu. All she wrote, and again, settles it down. Talberg finds himself down the left wing. JC Brassard trying his best to, to disrupt the play, but Talberg finds it into the back of the net, and it ends up with the Blaze six, Nottingham three.